Let's get more insight from Diego Aria, live from Miami. He's Venezuela's former permanent representative to the United Nations and a former Security Council president. Diego, welcome to our program. How would you describe the current relationship between China, an economic powerhouse, and then Venezuela, which is dealing with triple-digit inflation and economic meltdown? Well, the impression of the Venezuelans who believe in democracy and freedom is that this is not an agreement between China and Venezuela. It is more an agreement between China and the regime, which has been declared uh, actually illegal by our National Assembly. Even Maduro, according to our National Assembly and our legitimate Supreme Court, is not the president of Venezuela. So, w w you know, we look always at ch to China with respect and admiration. But at the same time, I'm deeply concerned of the uh, increasing ties with the regime rather than with the country. Do you agree with critics, sir, who say China's engagement in Venezuela and really other Latin American countries um, has short-term benefits and long-term consequences? And what does that mean exactly? Well, exactly. I believe that's the case. For example, I read the China's spokesman saying that Maduro will help China to increase relationship with Latin America. Ninety percent of the population of Latin America have condemned the Maduro regime, so I don't think it's a good uh, partner to promote China. China does not need Maduro to, to promote itself in, in, uh, in the region. I think the consequences are that the day that we recover our freedom, which we will, uh, all these agreements that uh, Maduro is signing are completely illegal, illegitimate, because he has not asked the permission of our, the, of our National Assembly. I think those are uh, difficult and serious implications and consequences. Uh, Venezuela's oil reserves once uh, made the country one of the wealthiest in the world, in South America. Um, not anymore. Can you talk to us a little bit about China's efforts to boost oil production and help Venezuela with its energy sector. You know, we used to produce, when they came into the government 20 years ago, we produced three and a half million barrels of oil a day. Today, barely, we uh, produce almost a million, out of which the only income that Venezuela really gets is from the United States, the sale of oil to Venezuela, uh, to the United States. And that uh, uh, is a very complicated situation. I understand that China is trying to protect its investments in Venezuela. But when you have a country with, uh, which, according to the monetary fund, its inflation might reach three or four million percent this year, and you have a country which is really starving its people, where you have four million Venezuelans living in the country in despair for lack of food and medicine, that's not a very good country to put your money in. And Mr. Aria, Maduro has blamed the U.S. for the country's economic and financial mess, accusing Washington of running an economic war against Venezuela. I just want to get your reaction on that. You know, that's a absolutely an idiotic uh, reaction by the regime. When you uh, collapse your own uh, main industry from 3.5 million barrels a day to, have, to only 1 million uh, the Americans are the only ones who are buying actually giving dollars to the Venezuelan regime. If that was the case, the United States would not even buy the oil from Venezuela. So that's absolutely ridiculous. It's not true. And uh, it's very easily uh, proved. All right. We'll have to leave it there. Diego Aria joining us live from Miami.